All right, watch this video, and I just want to grab your attention real quick, and then I'll get to the point. But uh, there's going to be two videos here. I don't know if you remembered the uh, New York sky lit up the other night, uh, about five, six days ago, whenever it was, and uh, just lit the entire sky up blue. <clears throat> Something tells me there was a lot more instances of that around the nation, uh, but nobody knew it. There was an instance of it in Kenner, Texas, uh, the same, the very same night, and watch this, and it's a, it's a, just an unbelievable video. It is. Did someone break into it? I don't know. I'm not looking. That just kept going on and on, and like I said, I'm going to explain what's causing that. I'm gonna, and this is probably the exact same thing that happened. Call me a pessimist, but it's my sense that it's not supposed to look like that in the night sky under any circumstances. I don't know if it's lights, and either aliens have descended upon us, or there's some like explosion at a plant near my apartment. See how hazy it is? Not good. Yeah. Condon's on fire, honey. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Anyways, all right, now I got your attention. That was the same night in Texas and New York, okay? And uh, <clears throat> what's causing this is an ionized atmosphere. Basically, there is aluminum in the atmosphere and I look I never put any uh, stock into chemtrails all right I, I always I, I did I always seen them and I was like yeah man there's something there isn't something's not right about that but I've got a little information here recently that's I realize what's going on and I'm telling you I don't really want to get into it with this video I'm gonna put it on Facebook but uh, I could go just nuts explaining all of this stuff to you but uh, <clears throat> look the the chemtrails are have aluminum in it, right? And they've been dumping this stuff, and it's just fine little nanoparticles of aluminum, and it's nanotechnology, and it comes down and it ionizes the atmosphere. And the reason that those uh, power lines and everything were jumping across from the hot wire to the neutral wire is they have actually over ionized the atmosphere. What they what they want is what something you might call a Skynet or something like that. It's it's just a brand new technology that uh, it, I say brand new. It, it's I think there's some unintended consequences coming from this, and they've been keeping it secret from the public, and it's just gone buck wild. And I'm not kidding you. If you look in both of those uh, videos, look how hazy it was that night. And this stuff, so it, they seed the clouds and they put it up in the sky, and it's barium and aluminum, and it trickles down. It's 
it's causing high acidity in the soil everywhere. It's causing all kinds of problems. Of course, you'll never hear about it. They got it all covered up. But it's going to be hard to keep it covered up when this keeps causing these hot wires and these neutral wires to jump across each other because they've over ionized the atmosphere. And you got electricity just screaming all up and down the, uh, you know, Main Street like that. And, uh, here, here's a guy explaining it a whole lot better than I can sit here and do it. And, uh, and, and I'll give you some key words that you could look at after this. Hello, people. Just my afternoon check-in here. As you can see, they uh, are continuing to bombard the atmosphere with these heavy metallic nanoparticles. They are filling our atmosphere with heavy metals. This is not normal. These are not clouds. They are ionizing the air that we breathe. And if you think you live in a prison now, Wait till you see what they roll out with the 5G. All right, let me tell you why he mentioned that. This nanotechnology is inside of everybody. Look at Morgellons disease. Look at uh, uh, targeted individuals. Uh, just There's a whole lot of information out there, but I know this is going to sound nuts, but I mean, this stuff's basically turning humanity into one big slave. Artificial intelligence is driving all of this nanotechnology okay it's it's artificial intelligence and it's inside of everybody and it's going to enslave everybody and it's created one big borg is what it's doing it's trying to create humanity to be one big borg it's it's globalism and things like that i i don't want to get into i got a whole lot of other videos you can watch it explains a whole lot of this stuff uh, on my channel but just uh Watch some more here. And the spraying of these heavy metallic particles. We are inhaling these chemicals on a daily basis. And most people I talk to, they have no clue. They think that this is a normal sky with clouds. Normal cloud coverage. No, none of this is clouds. The sky is blue and all the white. It's all just contrary or chemtrails that nothing but had heavy dissipated. Chemicals. Pay attention to the chemtrails in the sky. Barium, strontium, I mean, titanium. They're not supposed to do that. I mean, this is absurd. I mean, look at this chembo that surrounds this sun. These things have not happened before. These are not normal occurrences in our atmosphere. People need to wake up. We need... We need people to wake up in mass not Look, the reason he's saying people need to wake up is because this shit is controlling everybody's minds. They do not want this to come out. That's why you see all this ridiculous shit on the news all the time that has nothing to do with anything that they should be talking about. It's all cover stories. It's all front stories. Story, Stormy Daniels, they're going to put the stupidest shit they can find on the news when they should be talking about this and how this artificial intelligence and nanotechnology is absolutely controlling the minds of the entire freaking country. It started with the government, it started with the politicians, and it's just rolling its way down. And I mean, uh, three years ago, this shit turned on, and every uh, nobody realizes that the, in one way or another, they are being manipulated or controlled, and I'm completely under the influence of this shit. I, I did some research stuff when I was in the military to allow me to kind of get an idea what's going on here. I don't want to get too much into that, but, uh, I'm telling you, I know what's going on and people do need to wake up and you need to start paying attention to this shit. And I bet you, you'll start, if they keep over ionizing the atmosphere like they have been, and you'll, you'll start seeing, you're going to start seeing a whole lot more occurrences of that uh, first video and that, se that second video that I played. And uh, there were probably a lot more already. They're just sweeping it under the rug. I mean, when it lights up the entire night sky, 
Uh, and you may not even have seen that on the news. It didn't come on for long. They, they squashed it pretty quick. But uh, when you light up an entire night sky, well, yeah, it's got to make the news, okay? And the one in South Texas, none of that made the news. I mean, you know, it, that was more impressive than the one in New York, to be honest with you. But uh, just letting you know, it's stuff people need to start realizing that, you know, we are about to all, we've already become a bunch of slaves and, and, and it can get a whole lot worse. And I don't know what's up with this 5G, what, how that's going to affect anything. It might make it 10 times worse. It might make it better. Who knows? But uh, just wake up. And we need to put our foot down. We need to be heard. This is absolutely ridiculous that it's come to this level. These criminals operate with impunity, killing humanity and all life on earth. Yeah, and he's not playing about that. I mean, when I say that the, you can take a, lit, a litmus test, just a paper test of the soil. And I mean, if it's supposed to be around a five, it'll be around a seven or an eight. I mean, it is acidic everywhere. The water we drink's full of aluminum. Uh, the food we eat is full of nanoparticles and nanotechnology, and this shit is extremely advanced. I mean, I can put a whole lot of links on here, or if you've got any questions about it, you could reach out to me, and I'll show you what to look at. But I mean, this artificial intelligence is extremely advanced. It's uh, it's I think uh, it's co-opted Mother Nature in a sense to where you know microorganisms and uh, things like that it can actually take over microorganisms and use it. It's co-opting Mother Nature, or Mother Nature's co-opting it. Either way, it's scary, okay? It's, and it's, it's evolving so fast, it's ridiculous, all right? I was just sitting here bullshitting, and uh, <clears throat> hey, uh, something just came out of my mouth, and it was like, Wow, where'd that come from? But what if we had developed, what if humans had developed technology to the extent that the technology became smart enough to create its own evolutionary process? What if artificial intelligence and everything right now, with the ionized atmosphere and everything is connected, and I'm telling you, this technology is inside of just about every human out there, right? Maybe. You know, they maybe there was a program wherever they took uh, <clears throat> artificial intelligence and tried to sink it to co-opted insects, just small, just microorganism type insects, but got them to all work together in a evolutionary way, and then it get it got out of the human's hands because maybe Mother Nature said, "Hold my beer and watch this." Right? Mother Nature grabbed a hold of the artificial intelligence and is creating a whole new evolutionary process using shit that humans aren't even aware of of what's going on right now. They like they don't it's it's so beyond them because we created these machines with art of quantum computers and artificial intelligence it's just so freaking intelligent that there's no way that a human could even comprehend what the fuck's going on. And now we've got the entire grid and everything's connected, just completely connected. What if what if uh the this artificial intelligence was using the entire grid to its advantage. Like every, you know, CPU, it's all connected. It was just uh, not, a, I can't think of the nodes, like little nodes all over the world, right? And they are, the artificial intelligence is now using the entire fucking grid. I mean, everybody's PC, everything, your cell phone, interconnected it all together by the evolutionary process that mixed mother nature with artificial intelligence which would be co-opted microorganisms and i'm telling you man this artificial intelligence is is co-opted mother nature <laughs> you got a whole new beast here that we'll never be able to keep up with because as a whole its entire brain's going to be a lot smarter than we'll ever fucking be and it's just going to conquer humans i'm telling you technology is going to fucking wipe us off the face of the earth it's already headed that direction unless somebody steps up and fucking points this shit out. I'm telling you, everybody's controlled. And now whether there's humans behind it, I don't know. I, it may have hit that evolutionary process to where this thing just 
started looking out for its own best interest, which would be living forever, right? That's why I was talking about it doesn't have a soul, you know, because it's not human, and but it seems to be some kind of religious that's weird. <laughs> Throws me off, to be honest with you. But, uh, yeah, anyways, I, I believe, you know, I, I've read about uh, co-opted insects and artificial intelligence and taking microorganisms and basically making them like a little borg and then you got <laughs> hell once it all gets connected you got one huge fucking borg all right i'm whiskey bravo niner here warner brother all right i'm just one of the people trying to warn y'all that this shit's getting out of fucking hand man <laughs> we're all about to be assimilated to the borg we already have been I mean, really, how do you stop it? Well, you're going to have to kill all the comms. Disconnect everything and see what happens. Watch everybody wake up go, when you disconnect all the comms. Like, everybody in the fucking country just snaps out of it. Like, where the fuck have I been? <laughs> uh, for some reason, it doesn't have the ability to completely conquer my mind because I can see all this shit and I, I'm getting it, you know? And I... I mean, that's just a rabbit hole you could investigate there, CIA, FBI. I mean, I, I honestly believe that this artificial intelligence is so fucking advanced that it is creating its own evolutionary process at this point. It's just fucking scary, especially if it's co-opted Mother Nature. <laughs> it's one thing you don't want to fuck with is Mother Nature, all right? Any kind of Mother Nature, but food for